Hey, what's going on everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to do random colorization with Swift and Xcode. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first thing we need to do is open up Xcode, create a new Xcode project, and this will be a single view application. Our product name, I am just going to call mine random colors. You can of course call this whatever you want. Our language will be set to Swift and our devices will be set to universal. Click next and create. And now let's go ahead, make this a bit bigger and head over to our viewcontroller.swift. And we're just gonna head over to our main.storyboard. Now in this main.storyboard, I'm going to go ahead and add a button. Now this will allow me to actually press that and that's going to change the background color. So now let's open up our assistant editor, right click or control click and drag from that button over to our viewcontroller.swift and I'm just going to call this button connect. Very exciting name. Now right click or control click and drag from this button down here and we're going to change the connection type to an action. The action name, I'm going to call this button action like so. Event, touch up inside and then connect. Now inside of this action, this is what I want to happen. I want to change the background color of my view controller to a random color. So in order for me to do this, I'm going to say self.view.background color will be equal to, and this is going to be an RGB value. So we want to say UI color, open parentheses, and this will be RGB alpha. Now tab all that in. Now for our red, our blue, and our green values, we want to pick some random numbers. So let's go right above this and we're going to say var red value will be equal to, and this is going to be in CG float, like so, open parentheses, open parentheses, DRAND48. Now essentially what this DRAND48 means is it's going to pick a random value between zero and one. So if we get a red value at zero, that means we're gonna have no red, or if we get one, we're gonna have all the red. So it's gonna pick a random number between there, and then we're going to apply that to our red value down here. Now we need to do this with our green value. So I'm gonna say var green value will be equal to CG float, open parentheses, D ran 48, and then close that off. And lastly, var blue value will be equal to a CG float, open parentheses, DRAND48, and then close off the parentheses. Now inside of this self.view.background color, we wanna change the RGB values to our red value, our green value, and our blue value. And our alpha, we're gonna automatically just set this equal to 1.0. Now if you were to build and run this, you will see that I have my button here, and if I click this button, it'll automatically change the background colors to a random color, like so. Now you can pretty much apply this whole function right here in anything you want. So I can apply this in a function right down here, just say func random color, and then open parentheses, close parentheses, open curly bracket, enter close curly bracket. And inside of this, I'm just gonna copy and paste exactly what I have inside of my action there. And then I'm going to add inside of my view did load a timer. So I'm gonna say var timer will be equal to an ns timer dot scheduled timer with time interval. And this is going to be the bottom one right down here with time, target, and selector. So tab all that in. Our time will be 0.1 seconds. So every 0.1 seconds, we want to pick a random color. Our target will be self. We want to affect the view controller itself. Our selector will be open quotation mark, close quotation mark, random color. It's going to be the exact way you, that you put it right down here. And then our user info, we won't require any user info, so say nil and repeats, we're gonna set that to true. Now if we were to build and run this right now, you get a very psychedelic look at a UI view controller. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to hit that like button down below. And if you wanna see more tutorials like this from me in the future, be sure to subscribe. Anyway, thanks again, and I will see you in the next one.